Hey everyone, this is graphic designer Roberto Blake. Welcome to another Photoshop CC tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on sharpening your images and reducing camera shake in the original photo using Adobe Photoshop CC. Um, and we're going to be using the shake reduction tool as well as the high pass filter to sharpen our image. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we're going to be using the photography of John Covington. You can check out his work at www.jcov.net. Now as you can see this is a beautiful image but it's just a little out of focus due to camera shake. So we're going to improve this and sharpen it and get our focal area back by using the shake reduction tool in Photoshop CC as well as the high pass filter tool. If you do not have Photoshop CC um, you'll need it to follow along with that part of the tutorial but even without it you can just use the high pass filter and still get some very good results and you'll just need to probably increase the amount that you're using rather than the shake reduction tool if that's not going to be in a position to help you using an older version like Photoshop CS6 or even CS3 so let's go ahead and get started you can see that this is the original image and that's just not working for us so Let's go ahead and get rid of my versions of this and start over. First thing we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our layer. If you have Photoshop CC, you're going to want to go to Filters, Sharpen, and Shake Reduction. You're going to want to move this box over the face of your model and zoom in so that you can get a better look. And you can see what a huge difference that makes and how that already improves things. So we're going to click OK to confirm that. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create another duplicate of our original layer rather than our shake reduction layer. And that's just so that uh, we can you know work from scratch and not get any artifacting also that'll help you follow along if you're not using Photoshop CC and you need to skip straight to the um, high pass filter method for this alright so that's already a big improvement to our image so we're going to duplicate the original again put that over it we're going to go to Image Adjustments and Desaturate. Then we're going to activate our High Pass Filter under the Filters menu, Other, and then High Pass. And you'll just do this for your image as needed. Um, and go to maybe that. And you can see we're focused on the edges of the eyes, nose, lips. We're going to hit OK. And I'm going to invert my mask here so that's not active. And then I'm going to use a white brush to just paint in the areas that I want to focus on gradually. And I'm just going to set this brush to... 70% uh, or so. And I'm just going to focus on the areas of the eyes. Whoops. And the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to set this blend mode to soft light for your layer. And as you can see, as I paint these areas in, they get sharper. So I'm going to focus on the lips, the nose the eyes and the hair specifically the hair framing her face and that is giving me exactly what I want so that was quick and painless and you can see what a big difference it makes from the original and that's really all there is to it. You just go ahead and you can mask and you can paint in and out whatever you want. If you have camera shake reduction, it will do most of the work for you. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this Photoshop CC tutorial video. This one was a little shorter than usual, but it's straightforward and to the point, and you can use this technique however you need to. 
like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me your suggestions for other videos in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next Photoshop CC tutorial video. Thanks for watching.